Hi everybody, welcome back to Happy Apple Core Homestead. Today I'm going to show you how to test your iodine at home. Iodine is an essential mineral for your body. It helps your thyroid to function and our bodies do not produce it, which means we have to consume it in our diet. The reason I'm talking to you about this today is it's very personal for me. So I have a really severe iodine deficiency. So much so that I have quite a large growth here. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but I have a huge growth on my thyroid that was caused from a long-standing iodine deficiency. And I don't eat uh, processed foods, so I just eat, you know, fruits and vegetables and meat, and apparently that was not enough. With that said, this is not about my medical history. This is um, how can you check at home before you go to the doctor and say, hey, can you check my iodine? If you asked your doctor to check your iodine, the chances are you're gonna hear something kind of like this. Well, Mrs. Robinson, you know, in America, nobody really has an iodine deficiency anymore. If you have a growth on your thyroid, whether or not your thyroid is functioning fine, um, please ask your doctor for an iodine test because probably you have an iodine deficiency. You don't have to have any, you know, like really super low thyroid or, you know, your thyroid can be, you know, actually functioning perfectly fine and you can still have a, an iodine deficiency. But just be aware that if you, you know, ask your doctor to do the test, they will probably look at you like you're crazy until you prove that, oh, yes, you do have an iodine deficiency. And once it gets as low as mine, it is not necessarily an easy thing to catch up on. So we'll get right to it. This is an iodine tincture. It is 2%, I believe. Yeah, it's 2%. It is brown in color. The clear one is not going to work because you won't be able to see it. The whole premise is what we're going to do is we're going to apply some iodine right here to the inside of the wrist. Um, when I do this on my own, I actually, I put it right on um, this this um, big lump in my thyroid. Um, but for today's purposes, I'm just going to put it right here. So we'll just do that first really quick. You just apply it. Just paint some on like so. A nice layer. You know, get quite a bit on there. So... That's what it looks like. And then you're just gonna dry it off. You know, get it soaked into your skin and then you dry it off so that it doesn't come off, right? You don't want it to stain your clothes or anything like that. So we can see how bright yellow this is. And I'm gonna write down the time, it's 2.04 right now. The iodine test is going to show you how deficient you are. For example, once you've painted it onto your wrist, you're gonna just wait and you're gonna pay attention to when it comes off. So it's not gonna rub off, like it's it's stuck, it's stained. It's stained in, into the skin. If this is gone, if this disappears, cause you can't just wash, wash it off. I mean, maybe if you like scrub some alcohol on it, it'll lighten it a little bit, but you just have to wait until your body absorbs it. If you're, you know, watching this and it's gone, in an hour or five hours, please call your doctor and ask for an iodine test. If you put this on and 24 hours later, it's just now finally starting to fade, you're good. You're not, you don't have an iodine deficiency if this is still showing 24 hours later. The faster it disappears, the less iodine you have in your body because your body, once it gets it, it just sucks it up because it's looking for it so much. That's actually why I have this. Um, growth on my thyroid because my thyroid grew in order to try to extract more iodine out of my body and into the thyroid so that it could function. I wrote down the time and I am going to go and do a couple things out in the garden. I'm going to keep an eye on this and then I'm going to come back and tell you how long it took for mine to disappear. Yours is going to be different probably depending on how much iodine you have in your body. This kind of iodine right here, so let's just say, oh, I have an iodine de deficiency. Do not, please, 
do not take this internally. I know it's called a tincture. I know that the tinctures that I make you can take internally. This you cannot. This is poisonous. There are iodine supplements that you can take. However, I do not recommend that you take an iodine supplement unless you've talked to your physician, you know for a fact that you have a deficiency, and they can guide you on how much to take. Because if you take too much, uh, it could actually do the same thing and damage your thyroid. So, you know, you just have to have that happy medium. Now, outside of the a nodule on your thyroid, I'm not going to tell you what the symptoms of an iodine deficiency are, is because there it's just like every other ailment. You know, it, it could be anything. So I don't want to give you a list of things and then you're like, oh, I have a mineral deficiency. No, I mean, no. So if you have a nodule on your thyroid, please do the test. You can do the test anyways. You know, if I had caught this early, maybe I wouldn't have this like big bulbous thing in my neck right now. And, you know, this, I don't want you to think that just because you have an iodine deficiency, you're going to get something like this. I have other things going on, right? It's not just that. Um, but you can get, um, some people have grow giant goiters <laughs> even, um, because of a, an iodine deficiency. So don't let it get that far, right? This is an easy thing you can do at home. Uh, obviously if you're allergic to iodine, I have a family member who is, so don't put it on your skin if you're allergic to it. And the last thing I want to tell you before I run out and do some errands and just wait and see like how long this takes to go away is what can you eat naturally? that has iodine in it to raise your levels if you need to. And so that list of foods is seaweed is number one. So especially if you're a vegan, because all, everything else I'm gonna tell you, you can't eat it if you're a vegan. So, excuse me, if you're a vegan, seaweed. Kombu is my favorite, any kind of kelp will do. Uh, it has a very high iodine content, probably the highest of anything that you're gonna be able to um, take unless you wanna take iodized salt. Um, if you want to, most people these days, uh, you know, their doctors are telling them, if you had a low sodium diet, you know, you got high blood pressure, you know, don't eat any salt. So people have stopped eating, eating salt, so they're not getting any iodine in their systems anymore. And or people are on this kick of sea salt, which I completely understand. It has way more minerals in it than the stripped down iodized salt but it doesn't have any iodine in it. So there's like that trade off, right? So somehow you're gonna have to get iodine in your body since our bodies don't make it themselves. So that's fish, um, cod is particularly high. I think shrimp, don't quote me on that. I don't eat shellfish, but I'm pretty sure there's several different kinds of shellfish that are high in iodine, but definitely cod. I eat a lot of that. Um, beef, eggs, and chicken. And then there's fortified foods, right? Some fortified foods, Packaged foods, which I also don't eat and I don't recommend them, probably also have iodine in them. But that's your main ones. Seaweed, eggs, fish, beef, and chicken. Okay, I'm going to just go now and I will come back here really quick to tell you how long it took for mine to go away and then we'll be done. <laughs> okay, I'll see you in a minute. Hi friends, we're back. It is five hours later. And as you can see, my body has absorbed the iodine. I'm gonna pop some pictures in for you right now. So now you can see how hour by hour my body absorbed the iodine that was applied to my skin. Obviously, I need to do some more work to increase my internal iodine level, but this is a good way for you to test if perhaps you need more iodine in your body. Thank you so much for watching this video and taking this journey with me. Um, it's a little bit of like a vulnerable situation to use my body as kind of an example, but I really want you guys to know how to take care of yourself. And if I can be a guinea pig to, um, show that example to you, I want to do that. 
hopefully this time next year, I'm not going to have an iodine deficiency. And if you're struggling with this too, I hope that also uh, you will get that taken care of as well. Please take care of you, all right? Thank you for watching. I appreciate every single one of you, and I will see you next time. Okay, bye!